Amos is so creative in how he gets God's message across. He imitates in chapter 4 a call to worship. Maybe you've been to worship at some church and there's a call to worship at the start. You know, come praise God. Come hear God's word. Come into this worship and, and receive the gifts of God for the people of God. Amos does that. He gets up. Maybe he went to a worship center and imitated the priest and called the people to worship. And he says, come to Bethel and transgress. Come to Gilgal and multiply transgression. That is what Amos is doing is Amos is imitating a call to worship, but telling the people, come into this worship space and sin. He's telling them, your worship of God, you think it pleases God, but it doesn't please God. God looks at your worship and actually all God sees is you sinning. Why? Because you're not, Amos says, doing what God really cares about, loving the poor, serving justice, doing truth. Get away from this worship that's just going through the motions and really get in tune with God. That's what Amos says.